And Deborah Houston, with some final words before you go to sleep, uh, good news, Shep is really excited that you are on your way. Uh, we just received words from the station side of the house. Uh, it sure was a splendid start to uh, what we all anticipate will be a great mission. Uh, we have one final step before the COE is coming. We would like you to verify that our color test message has printed. Uh, we also have uplinked some email for you, uh, so you can double-check that and make sure that Outlook is closed so that the rest of the crew gets mail um, on board during the night. Okay, uh, we can verify that we did get the uh, test, mes uh, test message printed, and it uh, looked great. Uh, we pretty much got all the computers shut down now, and uh, Outlook is closed out, so we'll... A sunny Florida morning greeted the flight crew for the fifth space shuttle flight of 2000. And in crew quarters Thursday afternoon, they all appeared eager to begin their mission to deliver the largest solar arrays ever built to the International Space Station. Leading this experienced crew is U.S. Navy Commander Brent Jett, a veteran of two shuttle missions. This is his first as commander. Joining him on the flight deck for launch, the pilot, Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Mike Bloomfield making his second trip to space, and the flight engineer, Dr. Mark Garneau of the Canadian Space Agency, on his third shuttle mission. Rounding out the five-man crew, mission specialists and spacewalkers, Joe Tanner making his third space flight, and Lieutenant Colonel Carlos Noriega of the U.S. Marine Corps on his second shuttle mission. Friends, family, and co-workers cheered as the astronauts made their way to the Astro Van for the ride to the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Pad 39B. There, Jet led the way, crawling through the hatch and then climbing into his seat, getting strapped in and set to start the 101st mission in space shuttle history. During a planned countdown hold at T-minus nine minutes, launch director Mike Leinbach polled his team and then relayed to Jet the news that he and his crewmates have waited for since being assigned to this flight more than two years ago. Okay, Brent, this is a beautiful night to fly, so we wish you luck, uh, have fun, and give our best to Chef, Sergey, and Yuri. Okay, we will. Uh, it was an awesome job by the launch team today, uh, making up for that last time, especially the uh, closeout crew. They were uh, really hustling uh, tonight when we got out here. And uh, before we leave town, uh, the station uh, commander, Bill Shepard, asked me to, uh, on behalf of the Alpha crew, uh, to pass along their appreciation to, uh, to everyone who's responsible for getting this mission ready to go. They're really looking forward to uh, powering up the station after uh, P-6 gets delivered and activated. And the only thing we want to add from the shuttle crew is uh, that we're honored to be part of such a great team and we're ready to get in the game. Well, thank you very much for those very nice words. It's, uh, it's our privilege and pleasure to get you on orbit tonight. The clock resumed its countdown to launch, and the astronauts and launch teams worked through the checklists to ensure that all systems on board Endeavour were ready for launch. And then, 
with the ISS flying above the Indian Ocean some 7,500 miles away, the crew members braced for their eight-and-a-half-minute ride to orbit. Three, two, one. And booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Endeavour providing power to the station as we continue to build our future in space. Well, program. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The astronauts spent their first few hours in space setting up their ship for the upcoming week and a half on orbit. They're scheduled for a late Friday morning wake-up call to start the first full day in space on this mission to expand the capabilities of the International Space Station. From the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Space Shuttle Endeavour Launch Control. The countdown for launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-97 is continuing this afternoon. Launch is scheduled to occur at about 10.06 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. And the launch opportunity window extends for about two and a half minutes. The primary objective of this flight is to rendezvous with the orbiting International Space Station and continue construction on the station. The five-member crew of Endeavour will spend about seven days docked with the International Space Station. STS-97 will deliver, assemble, and activate the U.S. electrical power system on board the station. This power system is built into the 47-foot integrated truss structure called P-6. It consists of solar arrays, radiators, batteries, and electronics and it will be attached to the station using the shuttle's robotic arm and spacewalking crew members will make the final connections. Astronauts Joe Tanner and Carlos Noriega will perform the three EVAs or spacewalks that are necessary to accomplish this work. The other astronauts include the commander Brent Jett, our pilot Michael Bloomfield, and from the Canadian Space Agency Mission Specialist Mark Garneau. And we have live TV of our five astronauts seated for breakfast at this time. Our representative from the Canadian Space Agency, uh, Mark Garneau, preparing for his uh, third flight into space today. Carlos Noriega. Uh, making his second trip into space today, one of our uh, spacewalkers on this mission. Uh, the mission is being commanded by Brent Jett, making his third flight into space today on the space shuttle. Our other EVA member, uh, Joe Tanner, mission specialist, making his third trip into space. And rounding out our crew is our uh, pilot, Mike Bloomfield, on his second trip into space. Our astronauts are on schedule for uh, their activities today. Uh, they've been awake since 9 o'clock this morning and are uh, ready to go into their suit-up uh, chambers where they will uh, enter their uh, launch and entry suits and then make their way out to the pad later this afternoon. We do have live TV now of our astronauts, uh, five astronauts in the suit room, beginning with Commander Brent Jett, who is preparing for his third mission today. Uh, Jett will be responsible for the overall success of the flight and the safety of his crew, and he will fly Endeavour to its link up with the new docking port on the International Space Station, as well as supervise the deployment of the solar arrays. Pilot Mike Bloomfield preparing for his second trip into space. He will assist the commander during the rendezvous and approach 
operations to the International Space Station, as well as operate Endeavour's robot arm during the, two, the three spacewalks. On one of those three spacewalks, or on all of those three spacewalks, will be a mission specialist Joe Tanner, uh, who is preparing for his third flight into space. Uh, Joe will be responsible for the uh, operations of the Endeavour's docking system and will join his uh, co-mission specialist, Carlos Noriega, on the uh, three spacewalks during this flight. Mark Gurno, our representative from the Canadian Space Agency, uh, during uh, docked operations, he will use the Canadian-built robot arm to install the large U.S. solar arrays on the station, and he will serve as onboard choreographer during the two, the three spacewalks planned for this flight. And rounding out the crew is uh, mission specialist Carlos Noriega, preparing for his second flight into space on board the space shuttle. Uh, And we have our astronauts uh, departing their crew quarters on the third floor of the operations and checkout building and entering the elevator that will take them down to the ground floor where they will then enter their astronaut van or astro van which will carry them out to launch pad 39B. And the astronauts are now coming out of the uh, operations checkout building as they make their way to the astronaut van. We have our commander, Brent Jett, leading the rest of the crew, our pilot, Michael Bloomfield, mission specialist, Joe Tanner, Mark Garneau, and Carlos Noriega. And the crew are entering the astro van, which will carry them out to the launch pad. Uh, we expect the crew to arrive at the pad in about 25 minutes or so. Uh, riding along with them, our astronauts uh, are members of the flight crew office, uh, security officer, and other astronauts who will be performing the weather assessment functions for our launch attempt tonight. Astronaut Brian Duffy will be piloting the shuttle training aircraft, and he's riding with them at this point. Uh, they'll drop, them, drop him off in front of the uh, launch control center, where he will then be driven out to the shuttle landing facility where we stage our shuttle training aircraft. And the astronauts are off and on their way to launch pad 39B. And we have a, a view inside the flight deck on the flight deck of the uh, Orbiter Endeavor as our commander Brent Jett is being assisted into his seat by closeout team personnel. And now a view from the mid-deck as our mission specialist Noriega uh, finds his way to his seat. Carlos Noriega is a lieutenant colonel in the uh, U.S. Marine Corps, and again he's making his second flight into space aboard Endeavour. Our third member to make uh, preparations to enter the vehicle is our pilot on this mission, Mike Bloomfield. 97 are performed and complete as implementation of SAT-92. And we see Mark Gano, uh making final handshakes as he does indeed uh, kneel down to crawl into the orbit or endeavor. Good evening, Joe. Okay, I got you loud and clear also. Good evening, Joe. He will be seated on the flight deck. CC, OVCC. Next to uh, Joe Tanner. And he'll be seated behind our commander, Brent Jett, and pilot Mike Bloomfield. Mission Specialist 1, Houston. I read you loud and clear. Good evening, Joe. Endeavor Launch Director. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, Brent, it's a beautiful night to fly, so we wish you luck. Uh, have fun and give our best to Shep. Sergey and Yuri. Okay, we will. Uh, it was an awesome job by the launch team today, uh, making up for that lost time, especially the uh, closeout crew. They were uh, really hustling uh, tonight when we got out here. And uh, before we leave town, uh, the station uh, commander, Bill Shepard, asked me to, uh, on behalf of the Alpha crew, uh, to pass along their appreciation to, uh, to everyone.
one who's responsible for getting this mission ready to go. So really looking forward to uh, powering up the station after uh, P-6 gets delivered and activated. And the only thing we want to add from the shuttle crew is uh, that we're honored to be part of such a great team and we're ready to get in the game. Well, thank you very much for those very nice words. It's uh, our privilege and pleasure to get you on orbit tonight. So uh, with that, NTD, you're clear to proceed. I copy launch vector. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. GLS auto sequence has been initiated. And we are in the process of retracting the orbiter access arm away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew. To gain entry into and out of the vehicle, it can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. CDR, OTC. Go ahead, OTC. But the last shuttle crew may have had the mojo, but you guys are packing the power to light Space Station Alpha into the new millennium. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for the engine start. 5, 3, 2, Mission and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, providing power to the station as we continue to build our future in space. Well, program. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Endeavour completing the roll. The shuttle now in a heads down, wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Five seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Endeavour already one and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems reported to be in great shape. 52 seconds into the flight, the main engine's beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. Endeavor, go at throttle up. The throttle up call from spacecraft communicator Gus Loria. On board Endeavor, Commander Brent Jett. Joined on the flight deck by pilot Mike Bloomfield, flight engineer Mark Garneau of the Canadian Space Agency, and mission specialist Joe Tanner. Seated alone down on the mid-deck, mission specialist Carlos Noriega. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight. Endeavour 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. This view from long-range tracking cameras north of the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation coming up in about eight seconds. Booster officer here in Mission Control reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour 32 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange, putting on a light show for the eastern seaboard as it heads up the eastern seaboard. Guidance has converged, all three computers. And the booster officer reports the ignition of Endeavour's orbital maneuvering system engines. That will be a one minute 42 second kick in the pants for Endeavour as the shuttle gets an additional lift to orbit to accommodate its 18 ton payload. Endeavour, two engine tail. That call indicates uh, that should one main engine fail, uh, Endeavour has enough uh, velocity at the moment to reach a transoceanic abort site in Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function as advertised. A good ride so far for the five-man crew of Endeavour.
This is Mission Control Houston uh, with the KU Band uh, communication system having been activated. Uh, this view uh, aboard the flight deck of Endeavour, Mark Garneau uh, in the foreground, uh, behind him in the pilot seat, uh, Mike Bloomfield uh, starting his second flight into space, Garneau his third. Garneau uh, made his first flight into space aboard uh, the shuttle Challenger on the STS-41G mission in October of 1984 as the first Canadian ever to fly in space. Bloomfield was the pilot aboard Atlantis on the STS-86 mission back in September 1997, which uh, brought uh, David Wolfe to the Mir space station and brought home Mike Fole. Commander Brent Jett uh, now floating into the field of view in the white shirt. Uh, Jet uh, beginning his third flight into space. This is a uh, rare live glimpse of uh, post-insertion activity by a shuttle crew in orbit.